Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you'll learn how to install the Facebook Pixel on your Squarespace website. I'm super excited because I have Facebook ads expert and funnel strategist Jessica Tutton here to show us how it's done. So if you wanna get started with Facebook ads, this is definitely step number one. And even if you're not quite feeling ready yet, that's totally fine. I still recommend that you watch this video and install the Pixel so that Facebook can start gathering data for you and when you're ready, you can retarget your website visitors. So like all videos on this channel, Jessica has made this a nice and easy for us. If you would like more tech tutorials to help you grow your online business, definitely hit subscribe down below and hit that little bell icon as well so you get notified every time I post a new video. All right, so here's Jessica now with how to install your Facebook Pixel. Hi guys, I'm Jessica Tutton and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install your Facebook tracking Pixel on your Squarespace website. So there are two main reasons why you want to have your Pixel installed on your website. The first is so that you can potentially deliver ads to people who have recently visited your website. So that's what we call retargeting. And it's only possible when you put the pixel on your website. Um, so Facebook can really start to track people who are visiting your web pages. And the second reason you want to have your pixel on your website is so that you can start tracking conversions that happen on your website. So tracking um, people who sign up for your lead magnet as a result of seeing your ad, or even people who purchase from you as a result of seeing your ad. Um, and the only really way, the only way to determine how your ads are performing is to really track these metrics. So it's a critical component to advertising on Facebook and it is super simple to get set up. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to your Facebook ads manager dashboard, um, which is just in front of me here. And then you want to navigate to the menu bar where it says ads manager. Then you want to scroll down to all tools and under the measure and report column, you can go to pixels. If you haven't yet created a Facebook pixel, it's as easy as clicking on this bright green button that says create a pixel and giving your pixel a name and then entering your website URL. And then you just click create and your pixel is created. So the next step is then installing it on your website. And we have three options when it comes to installing the pixel on our website. We have manually installing the code ourselves, sending the code to a developer to install for us, as well as connecting to a partner program. So if you have a program like Shopify, um, there's instructions on how to install your pixel in this section here. But what we're going to do today is manually install the pixel code yourself because you'll be surprised at just how easy it is. So click on this middle option here and then scroll right down to copy the entire pixel code. And once your pixel is copied, we're just going to jump onto your Squarespace website, log into your website and go to your advanced settings. And then we're going to go into code injection. And what we want to do is paste our Facebook tracking code into the header section and then click save. So that is the pixel installed. This is going to install the pixel on every single page and this process only needs to be done once. To make sure that your pixel is installed correctly, you can download the Facebook pixel helper tool. Um, and then on your website, you can just check to make sure the pixel is installed by clicking on the fa Facebook pixel helper and then just seeing which pixel ID is installed on your page and make sure that that pixel ID matches your um, pixel ID in your ads manager. So that is how you install your pixel. The next step, once you have installed your pixel, is creating your custom audiences because there's not much you can do with retargeting unless you actually create the audiences that Facebook are going to track for you. So to create your custom audiences, we're going to go into your menu bar again. We're going to go to all tools and under assets, we're going to click on audiences. We're then going to click on create a custom audience and we're going to select website traffic. 
You can now see that my pixel is active because it has a green circle there. If your pixel is either red or gray, you might just want to check that it's been installed correctly using the Facebook pixel helper. And here's where you can create your custom audiences. So you can choose to start tracking all website visitors that have visited your website in the past 30 days, or you can actually create up to an audience up to 180 days. And the second step is to just give your audience a name. Once you've given your audience a name, you can select create audience and that audience will start to populate. You'll also see in um, this audience section how big your audience size is. So you can see that start to grow as you start driving traffic to your website. And it'll also tell you whether or not this audience is ready for you to start using in your ads. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll be happy to help. So that was awesome. Thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing such a great tutorial with us. Guys, if you want to learn more about Facebook ads, definitely head over to Jessica's website and check out all of the valuable content that she shares. It is jessicatutton.com.au. So check her out there for more help on your Facebook ads. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so below and I'll see you soon with another video.